In this video, I'll show you how to use the updated Focus Keeper app to stay productive, keep track of your Pomodoros, and get more work done. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Greatness Everyday YouTube channel. In this video, I'm excited to give you a few updates that have happened recently to the Focus Keeper app because it's one of the favorite apps that I have on my phone and it's one of the most used apps as well. It's something that I really think you're gonna benefit from in watching this video and using the Focus Keeper app yourself if you're interested in being more productive and getting more work done. Also, while doing those two things, feeling way better physically, mentally, and more. So watch this video, hit the thumbs up button if it helps you. And if you wanna find out when these videos come out here on my channel that help you upgrade your mindset, your money, and more, go down and hit the subscribe button. What we're doing today is talking about the Focus Keeper app, and you can see it here at the bottom of my screen. I'm going to go ahead and open that right now. It opens automatically to what you're going to see, um, and as I end that, you're gonna see this main screen here. There's been some updates recently, and I've had some comments about people asking and just saying that their screen looks differently. So that's what this video is for, to tell you some of the updates, some of the new features that you can use to get familiar with the new looking Focus Keeper app. Um, as I said, it is one of my favorite apps. At the top, you're going to see that there's a new task. That's the title. Um, you're gonna see that it says round zero of four, and this is goal one of 12. What that is telling me is this is telling me that my goal is to do four Pomodoros, and I'd like to do 12 different sessions um, per day. Okay, so this is the, the specific thing right now. The 25 minutes is what you're going to see as your just general, your work session. So you're going to be completing Pomodoros, which involve a 25 minute session where you are supposed to work, you're supposed to focus, you're not supposed to get distracted, you're not supposed to check out your phone, you're not supposed to be talking to anybody. What you're doing here is 25 minutes of focus and productivity. Okay, that is the goal. So as I do this, I'm going to go ahead, click play, and then you're going to see, and you're gonna hear some ticking. Uh, this is a sound that there's a lot of research out there that says the ticking is going to help you kind of lose, kind of focus on the, the, the background noise, the thing that's happening outside of you, and it's gonna help you get lost in the task that you are completing. And I really find that, yes, with the ticking, uh, it helped me get more work done. If you're one of those people that it's really gonna go ahead and bother, well, in the top right, you can click the dot, dot, dot. There's a, a chance to mute the alarm, mute the ticking, uh, look at some timer information, and you can restart the rounds and the goals if you need to go ahead and do that. For me here, I like the ticking. For the sake of this video though, I've kind of turned my volume down, uh, but it's definitely something that I do use. And you're gonna see this time is ticking down. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that that's the first piece to this whole Pomodoro. Pomodoros are really effective to helping you getting more work done, but I also find other than just the fact that you're getting more work done, the quality of the work when I mix in my focused work sessions with the breaks really increases as well. And that's the ultimate goal and the most important thing. Um, for me, I've been working from home in the past week, uh, completing some teaching on distance learning. And it's been one of the things that's allowed me to really break up my day, keep me focused, keep my body rested because every, five, every 25 minutes after my work session is done, I'm able to get up, go for a, a quick five, Five minute rest station uh, and rest uh, kind of session and what I'm gonna do to illustrate that here um, is I could go in and I could just make my uh, my Pomodoro focus time a little bit shorter just to illustrate this point point. and what you're gonna see is it's counting down um, while I'm doing that before I show you what the rest session looks like I will say there's a neat feature uh, with this version of the app where you can go ahead and if you want a bigger screen then you can rotate it and what you're gonna get here is you're gonna get a, a bigger timer. If you want to pause it, you can just tap the screen. And then from there, if you wanna go ahead and continue it, you can just tap the screen once again. It just basically shows you the important information. Um, but what I do is I typically just turn my whole screen off. You rotate it back. You're gonna see that same information there continuing on. I typically turn my screen off. And then what happens is when this timer runs out, I'll get a notification saying, all right, your work session is done. It is time to go ahead and take a quick rest. So we've got uh, seven seconds here and you're gonna see, and I'll turn my volume up so you hear it. 
a notification, it switches to this blue color, and this is the time where you are on your break. So this is the time for you to get up, go for a quick little walk, get up, go get a snack, have a drink, use the washroom, uh, go fold your laundry. I don't know what it is, um, but this is your chance to take a quick break. All right, so that is the basics of it all. You're going to see when we get back to it, if I go to one minute here, uh, you're gonna see, and actually I can pause it here and I can click skip. It's gonna skip my break. I wouldn't recommend doing this too often, but for the sake of this video, that's what I'll do for you. And then we go into our next Pomodoro. So you've just completed a Pomodoro, that 25 minutes of work and focus, and then that five minutes of a break, like I said before. I really feel when I'm using Pomodoros, I am in a state where I'm producing a lot more work, but I'm more importantly producing a lot more quality work. And with that, my body feels rested because every once in a while I'm able to get up and stretch and move around. I'm also able to give my mind a break, which is really important rather than just sitting down for the entire day and working in like an eight hour chunk. It's not very productive. Our bodies, our minds, we were not designed for that. So that's one of the reasons that I like Pomodoros. As this is continuing, I am going to show you kind of the other screens that you're going to see as well. So as we swipe to the right hand side, uh, you're going to see your charts, a little bit of information here for the last 30 days, as well as the last 14 days. I primarily use this app on another device, so that's why you're not going to see um, too much information here on my charts. But it, like I said before, it's one of my fav favorite apps and it's also one of the most used apps on my phone. So that is really the chart session. Back to our main uh, timer page. Not much else to say about that, but let's move over to like the new feature here. And the new feature with this version of the app is our um, task window, we could say. So if you wanted to go ahead and add a new task, you're going to see that it's saying that I've reached my task limit. I've already used one task and what I'm doing is I'm just repeating that every single day. I'm using that exact same task uh, because it's called distance learning for me. But maybe you wanted to go ahead and create one for work. You wanted to create one for um, something like your workout. Maybe you wanted to create one for uh, your weekend cleaning sessions. It doesn't matter what that is. You can go ahead and you can upgrade from the free version, which is what I'm showing you here today, to get some of these extra features where you can create as many tasks as you want. You can set different timer lengths. You can go ahead and set uh, a focus, a daily focus reminder that tells you, okay, it's time to get work done. Let's go ahead and, and start getting our Pomodoros done. You can um, have different sounds that you might like, the ticking sound, maybe different alarm sounds. And then you can also share data between different devices. And because I'm using the free version, I don't have those features, um, but really it doesn't affect what I'm doing too much. It might just be something that you wanna go ahead and pay a little bit extra money and it's really cheap. Um, Canadian, it's 750 a year. So, I mean, it's nothing uh, to go ahead and do that or there is a monthly version as well. I'd encourage you to check that out if you are interested and you can add as many tasks as you want. So those are the three features. One thing I will say is up here in the settings tab, right? You wanna unlock all these different features, go ahead and try the pro version. Um, you can change the time length for your focus sessions, for your short breaks, and also for your long breaks. So the goal here is once you go ahead and complete four Pomodoros, you've got your work session, then you've got your rest session, and you do four of those, you take a longer break, that's about two hours into it if, it, if we're looking at 30 minute Pomodoros, right? Your 25 minutes of work, your five minutes of your break, that's 30 minutes and you do four of those, that'd be a two hour kind of overall work period. You take a longer break. I like setting my breaks for something like 40, 45 minutes uh, when I get to that point, um, but this app in the pro version allows you to customize some of those break lengths. You can also change the amount of sessions that you do per round and also uh, for your entire daily goal. And then you can change some of the sounds, focus ticking. Maybe you wanna go ahead and change some of those. Um, I just leave everything standard as they are. Uh, my short break um, goes as well, like ticking, like a, and then alarm goes off. And then my long break is just kind of like beach sounds like uh, kind of like wind and waves. So it's pretty standard, pretty straightforward. The alarms are here as well. You can change some of the other features related to the colors that are there, but I really find the free version um, is definitely enough. Um, and it's really something that I enjoy. 
Again, there are so many benefits and I've talked about those in my other video on the Focus Keeper app. Um, and I like it enough to sit down, do another review for you here um, because I really believe in Pomodoros. In fact, in some of my classes as a teacher, um, I go ahead and structure everything around Pomodoros because uh, we know, and there's plenty of evidence, that um, high school students really need a lot of frequent breaks, um, but they also can benefit from that really focused practice. So Pomodoros, I really think, uh, it gives you the best of both worlds um, in that regard. So um, I like it so much that I even go ahead and uh, structure some of my classes that I'm teaching around Pomodoro specifically, but it's not just high school students. It's me when I'm working from home. It's me when I'm working and doing a bigger, longer term task. And it could also be you in whatever area of your life that you want to try Pomodoros out. Definitely try them out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If this video helped you, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see another video, because I do have another software that I use for Pomodoros on my computer that allows me to go ahead and block certain websites so I don't get distracted by them as I'm completing my work. And then on my break time, it opens those up for me to use and browse and, and go through and see what's on them. Um, go ahead and let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see that. Remember, click subscribe to find out when new videos related to mindset, money, and more come out and tap the bell to get notified when that happens. Thanks for watching. Remember, choose greatness every day and I'll see you next time.